Hi everyone, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this Adobe Premiere Pro CC tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use some stock footage and blending modes to create an ink splash transition effect. So this footage is coming courtesy of Mitch Martinez. He has a little stock footage resource section on his website, which I'll link below. So before we begin this tutorial, I just want to say if you're not following me on social media, definitely go check me out. It's easy to reach me on there. We're live streaming different fun stuff. So I look forward to connecting with you guys more on there. But opening up Premiere here, I'm just going to use one of those stock ink footage clips that he has provided. There's several different ones, but I like this one, Ink 25, because it starts out completely white and it slowly crawls in until the whole image is black. So since it's black and white, we can use those Luma differences to create a transition with it. So let's take an example clip and place it onto our timeline. Here we have just a basic time-lapse video. Next, we're going to take the ink stock footage and place it on a track that's at least two above the original. So here I'll put this one on track three. That way we still have room for one more track. So now let's take one more clip. So we have the two clips that we're transitioning between and let's place that on top of the other clip. So if you're familiar with how layers work, you can see we have the ink clip placed on top of clip A place on top of clip B. So let's turn all the visibility of these back on, except we want to use the black and white portions of this ink footage to determine which clip will show. So in this middle clip, if we go to the effects control panel and search for an effect called track matte key, we can place that onto this clip and adjust some settings in the effects control panel to tell Premiere how we want to combine and key these clips. So for the matte, we're going to use video track three because that's the track that the ink is on. And for the composite using, we're going to change it from alpha to luma. That's going to determine it based on the brightness. So since the original clip is black and white, you can see it's sticking onto the white portions at this moment. So if we wanted it to go from this clip showing and then fading out to the clip underneath, that's how we could do it. Or if you wanted it to go the opposite way, you could check the reverse here, and then that'll tell Premiere to put this clip onto the black portions instead of the white, which means that right now it's hidden, the clip underneath is showing, and then as the black portions come in, the new clip shows through. Now one thing you're gonna to wanna to do if you're using this exact particular footage is just go to the end here and you're gonna to have to cut off the little portion where he, ha he has his promo for his website and Another thing you can do since a lot of these don't cleanly go from solid white to solid black is click on the ink here, add a keyframe for opacity. So right near the point where you want it to fade out, add a keyframe at 100 and then add a keyframe all the way down to zero when you want it to be faded out. So now you can see we have a clean, so now you can see we have a clean ink reveal transition and whether you wanted this clip to reveal or hide would depend on whether you inverted the Luma to be applying onto the black or white. So you can use this to transition from clip to clip. And if you want to add some variety, you could use different ink stocks so that they're not the same exact one every time. Or if you even want to add some variety to the same one, you could go to the effects panel and do things like horizontally flip it or vertically flip it. If you want things to come in from the bottom rather than the top, and also keep in mind that you can use this with other media like title text or solid color mats like I did in the very intro. Just keep your layer and track organization in mind if you're getting confused and you should be able to keep it all together. So if you guys enjoyed this video, then make sure you leave a like on it. Let me know your thought in the comments and definitely subscribe to my channel here on YouTube so you don't miss any future videos. Also, if you guys want to follow me on social media at Just no D Show, you can reach me on there. All the links are in the description. And once again, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.